Yep, that's right. This video is going to be a lot about... Oh, and if that wasn't enough... Here's one more. And hey there, my fellow Tarhans. I am Captain Beans and welcome to High Fleet Builds, where today we are going to be doing a lot of... Using these right here. Now this is an FAB-1000. It is an airdropped bomb, which weighs just about one ton, or a thousand kilogram. Which, uh, if you're from the America of the United States, that would be just around 220 quarter pound burgers. Very America. <laughs> but okay. So this bomb weighs a thousand kilograms or 220 burgers and this thing does a lot of damage but what how does this thing even work why don't you just use the air, aircraft carried like 250 kilogram bombs or even the smaller type of bombs see the, th the thing that's special about this right here is that it can be installed onto a ship and in fact, this kind of aerial bomb is designed to be dropped from a ship. Let me show you how that works. So here I have a ship design where at the very bottom of it, we have a couple of these FAB 1000s. So I have five of them right here. And well, some of you might find this design a little bit familiar because this is just a slightly modified version of my sloop design, which I have designed in my previous video, actually. And the, the point of this ship right here is to be very fast, very maneuverable, and to be able to carry some high explosives. As you can see here, we got the FAB 1000s, which do this. And we also still have a couple of R5 Zenith missiles in case these bombs did not give enough and so these are here to give some more backup and okay enough chit chat let me show you how this thing works so to show you how you can use such a design right here to do a bit of dive bombing I'm going to test it on one of these wasps, since it's a pretty big ship, and it's also an easier target. Alright, let's go! Okay, so first let's get above this guy, and then... Do a bit of dive bombing. Okay, you probably didn't really saw that very well, but... I've just landed a bomb there. Oh no, that one missed. <laughs> Alright, let's go, bitch. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Alright, let's do a little bit of dive bombing. What? What was that? The ship just decided to su Oh, sorry, I cannot say that word on YouTube. Um, I mean... Alivent. Self-alivent. Okay, never mind. Let's, uh, continue with our test. Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, I think that was a bit of a glitch. Okay, that one. Oh, that did hit. Okay. Let's do more dive bombing. Come on. Uh, that one missed. Come on. So, as you can see, it's not it's not that easy to use these bombs actually. Oh, but there you go. Okay, let's try that again. So, okay. So, if you're wondering how I'm doing this, so, in the controls, the way you drop a bomb is you 
hold the uh, scroll wheel, which then shows you this arc thing. And as you move your ship, this arc changes. And when you accelerate, you can increase the speed of the bomb dropping, especially downwards, which is what I'm doing, to make a more effective hit. And when you, re and when you release the scroll wheel, it releases the bomb. And so, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see because of the uh, G-forces, but whatever. Uh, I only have one more bomb left. Come on. Okay, this guy's probably dead. Either way. But I guess he's not dead, so let's just finish him off with the uh, R5. Okay, so now you've seen how such a design like this could be effectively ish used against some targets and how these bombs can cause a little bit of but now let's see what it looks like when you put a couple of these on a slightly bigger ship like maybe a uh, Sevastopol as you can see here it is a slightly bigger ship than the other one that I just showed you and uh, actually I'm not going to be putting any bombs on this Sevastopol uh, because that would be haram or heresy. So we have a different, slightly more modified version of the Sevastopol, which I'm going to show you right now. And here I present to you Sevastopol. Now this absolute act of haram and a complete war crime against humanity was not created by me. This was actually created by a Tarhan by the name of Clank plus M on YouTube. Now the dude that designed this primarily made this design so that the Sevastopol can do barrel rolls, which uh, he even made a video where he unlocked the potential of the Sevastopol to do barrel rolls. But you know what? On this channel, today, we're going to unlock the Sevastopol's full potential as a dive bomber. Blah! And here, I present to you the Sevasto. And as you can see, this is just about almost the same kind of Sevastopol design. The only difference is that I've decided to change the very bottom of the ship to have a bunch of these FAB-1000. And, oh, hold on, I forgot something here. Let's see how that goes. And so, I'm going to do just about the same test as I did before with the sloop where I'm going to use just a bunch of aircraft carriers since they are a slightly easier target to uh, do a bit of dive bombing. Oh and also because the enemy has planes and I figured dive bombing them would be an interesting way to defeat planes. <laughs> <laughs> with a gigantic ass bucket of iron and steel and cheeseburgers. Well then, let's go, bitches! Okay, so we have a longbow. Let's see if we can target him. So... Okay. Come on! Okay, that landed. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, bitches. Uh-oh. That one missed. But it's okay. I got plenty more. Ah, that one missed. Again. Come on. I also have to do this quickly so that... So that the longbow doesn't destroy my bombs. Ooh! 
Look at that. Boom. This guy's dead. This guy's dead. Come on. <laughs> oh, bleh. What happened? Well, never mind. Let's just finish him off with gunfire, I guess. Oh, damn. The very bottom of the ship is completely destroyed. Uh... Well, okay, now that I've used all of my bombs... Or did I? I didn't. Okay. Let's see if we can bomb this guy. Come on. Oh, look at that. Destroyed his port side. Ooh. I think I ran out. No, I didn't. Okay. Come on. Ah, uh, no. And now I don't have any bombs, so... Zenith missile destroy. Well, okay, I've I've tested this design against some aircraft carriers, but let's see how well this works against some combat ships like these right here. Uh, why does it always have to rain, bro? Okay. Uh. Come on. What just happened? Did I just ram him? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Stupid Zenith missiles, I hate those. When the enemy uses them anyway. Oh, come on! Oh, bullshit! Come on, dive bomb him! Ah. Oh, okay, I didn't use any bombs to kill him, but whatever. Destroy! Okay, I'm starting to think that dive bombing combat ships with a ship is might not be such a good idea. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm pretty sure right here what you're seeing is definitely why you should never put any FAB 1000s on a Sevastopol. This is what you're gonna end up with. Well, at least if you're going against some strong enemy ships. And so let's see how such a design like the Sefasto bomb works against a garrison which is landed at the very beginning of the battle. So I've just randomly uh, chosen a town to silent strike and so these guys are landed. And so I'm gonna try to dive bomb them whilst they're landed. Let's go bitches! Come on, don't give me tutorial bro. Блядь! Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, 
Alright, this should hit him. Yeah, there you go. So, let's see. Oh no, this guy t is taken off. Ah! Come on, kill him. Oof. <clears throat> okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. I don't think it's necessary to do the whole acceleration thing since they're landed. Yeah, you can see, you can just drop them from above and it's fine. Yeah, look, these are probably gonna kill this guy. Oh no, probably not. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, look at that. See? I've done something right. <laughs> and yeah, and just like that, you can use a ship with FAB 1000s to strike a garrison silently and um, take them out using the bombs. Almost just like how you just saw. And so I think that is going to be just about it for all of the demonstrations, so let's get back to the building site. So the FAB 1000 bomb, is it effective? Yeah, kind of, if you know how to use it, but I feel like something like a R5 Zenith missile would be just slightly more effective, simply because it just does the same amount of but it does a little bit more quickly and also more accurately. And if you want to commit the absolute, then use a couple of these right here, KH-15N missiles. These are probably the best at committing. But if you are in close quarter combat, then maybe use these two. But this one, we save that for later. And so to conclude on this completely unhinged video, I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I'd also like to say thank you very much, Clank plus M, for uh, providing this uh, absolute monstrosity right here. And for, I guess, allowing me to make it even more of a monstrosity by adding those bombs right here. And if you guys would like to have this design, um, you should definitely check out Clank's channel. Uh, check out that video right there and just check the comments and you might find a link to the Sephastopol design somewhere in the comments. And you'll get the link and you can use this to build such a thing like I have here. And I guess on that note, thank you very much for watching. Happy building!